Are you wanting to organize your kitchen and make it more functional for everyday life in 2022? Well, I've got you covered. Today, I'm sharing with you my top 20 favorite Amazon must-haves for kitchen organization and essentials. All these items are super affordable. I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time in here cooking and prepping. And so if I can make it easier and more functional, I'm all for it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you happen to be new here, hey, my name is Emily. Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Just love to be able to inspire and motivate you through DIYs, organization, decorating, and making your home a little bit more beautiful and functional at a time. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Number one kitchen organizer that we're going to start with is a divided Lazy Susan. Lazy Susans are great in the kitchen, in the cabinets, and also the pantry, but a divided one is just a game changer. It's awesome. Number two is a adjustable silverware tray. These are great. You can also get the expanding drawer dividers. These come in sets of two and four, maybe six. I'm not positive on that, but they come in different colors. So you can match your cabinet space. They are awesome because you can move them around and individualize the space, make different compartments without having to buy trays if you don't want to. Both of these are great options. I love them. Something else you can get for your Ziploc bags is the bamboo dividers. These are great, especially if you want it to be aesthetically pleasing. There's a couple different options you can find on Amazon. They're really, really nice. I find that they're, you know, they're really useful. Another kitchen essential is a crock pot liner, not only for crock pots, but for when you're baking cheesecakes, they go around your cheesecake pans and you can put it in the water bath and it's not going to ruin the cheesecake like foil does. Amazon product they really like for underneath the sink. It can work in your bathroom, also in the kitchen, is this um, adjustable tray. And this is fantastic because you can make different compartments on the inside of it by just adjusting this little piece here. That's what all the holes are for, so it's breathable. If something spills, it has a full bottom, so it is not gonna get onto your cabinetry and ruin it. I really like this. You can put bottles in here. I have my reusable um, dish towels in here and then all my um, scrubbers and things like that here on the bottom. This thing is fantastic. I really, really like it. And something else I wanted to mention that I really like, I've had these actually for a couple of years now, but they are reusable paper towels basically. And you get them wet and they become an absorbent towel. You clean with them, everything. They work fantastic on your cabinets, but also on your countertops for cleaning. And then you can just add them to the dishwasher or to the washing machine, however you wanna clean them. And then they dry out and then you just get them wet and reuse them again, which is fantastic. They come in a lot of different colors. I've had pink and then the white color. Um, so white shows everything obviously, but it's also a great indicator when it's dirty. So keep that in mind, but I really like these. They're awesome and they're super affordable and it's just one of those products that I think is a kitchen must have. Next up is great for space saving, but also utilizing that small space are these clear stackable drawers. I love these. I originally got them for the kitchen by actually using the bathroom, but they won't move because they lock in place. So you can tug on them and they're not going to fall over on you. You can just simply open the drawer and voila, you're good to go. I love that it's visually, you can see everything inside. You can put more on top, expand them out and use all the space you need to. Speaking of clear organizers, these are a must. I just found these and I am so happy with them. They have a great silicone seal and I'm talking, it is tight. And each of the um, containers comes with a little bit different feature. So this is great. You can shake things out of there for different spices. This one actually comes with this little handle. Two of them actually have this, but it clips on so you can then take a measuring spoon or measuring cup and use it to level out the um, flour, or whatever else you have in there. This also has a little shaker so you can sift um, different stuff like powdered sugar and stuff. It's awesome. I really like this. And then it clips back into place and everything stays inside well well sealed. They also have one for brown sugar. It comes with the clay block that you soak for 15 minutes and then you dry it off, you add it in and it stays in there. I really like this. The fact that it comes with it is really nice. I actually ordered one for my other brown sugar container so you can just buy them individually if you want to. This one has a little flip top so it's great for cereal and this one is mainly I think for flour. They're all different sizes which I think is great. 
and this one obviously has a little leveling spot in it and then you can put it up on top if you don't want to use it but they're stackable they're really nice and the seal is fantastic recommend those a lot next up is a lid divider now you can use this for different items not just lids I've had mine for over a year and it's worked fantastic. I like that it's adjustable so you can make the compartments big or small if you need to and it fits in a drawer, um, in the cabinet and whatever you're not using, you can just set to the side. It's a really useful organization product for the kitchen. Now, spices. This is what it looked like before and this is how they look now. These clear spice jars come in lots of different sizes. They're really, really nice. I highly recommend them. The seal on them is really nice, has a great conceal. It comes with labels, but I recommend maybe buying other ones if you don't like those. I made mine with my Cricut. They hold so much spices. Um, basically, two of these jars will fit in one of these. Now, you can buy a slightly smaller size, but I like the fact that they hold a little bit more. Usually, when I buy spices, I buy a bit more. And you can get a measuring spoon in there. Like, yes, thank you. That's just 100% sold me on these. Love them. They work great, and you can stack them. They're a great kitchen organization product. Next up are is this set of amber soap dispensers. Now you can use them in the bathroom or in the kitchen or wherever you need to, but they come with these beautiful labels on them. I've had mine for over a year. They've held up great. And obviously it hides the soap color and they're just visually pleasing. So if you're gonna be in the kitchen all the time, might as well look at something pretty, right? The next Amazon kitchen must have is wonderful essential, but it also organizes itself, which is fantastic. It is this really nice um, cutting board. It has all the individual cutting boards labeled so that if you have little ones in the kitchen with you starting to learn how to prep and things, they know exactly which board to get. It fits perfectly in the slot. It doesn't move and it's easily washable. And then they all stack together inside the tray, which is actually breathable because it's open on the back. It's fantastic. It has non-slip pads on the bottom. If you're looking for a more affordable option, Walmart does have one for around five to $10. It's not as nice, but it definitely works. So my favorite Amazon finds that I've had for years um, are like this pizza peel. It is a beautiful Ikea wood. Um, it's gorgeous. It looks pretty, as decor in your kitchen, but it's very useful for prepping your pizzas. If you make homemade pizza like we do, usually once a week, we love to use it. Um, it's essential. And then the metal one is also essential for scooping it out of the oven from your um, pizza stone. Definitely you need both of them if you wanna make homemade pizza. It just makes all the difference. And then a wood uh, rolling pin. There's nothing like wood rolling pin. You gotta get yourself one. I think this was like $6. It has been the best that I've had. Um, I've tried other ones, I don't like them. And this one's tapered on the edges so that there's room for your hands, which is great. Simple, easy, but they make all the difference when it comes to cooking in your kitchen. And then also a Dutch oven. Uh, Amazon has one that is fantastic. It's a cast iron one. It can go up to over 500 degrees and you can take it camping with you. You can use it in the um, kitchen to make bread. I love making homemade sourdough bread. So that's definitely a useful one. And you, you can use, use it to make soups and all sorts of things, but it's very useful and it can withstand the high heat and it's very versatile. So make sure you grab those everything will be linked in the description box below that you've seen in today's video that way you don't miss out on it next on my kitchen must-have list is these silicone mats these are great for baking I love the ones that have the circles so you can figure out what size cookie you want on there they wash up great you can bake them and they just keep your pans a little bit cleaner now I resisted for the longest time getting a kitchen scale, but it's a must have. It's so helpful in the kitchen, especially if you're baking and doing different recipes. I like this one because it zeroes out with different items and it also shuts off after two minutes. Something I started buying a couple years ago were silicone sponges. I like them because they don't harbor bacteria. I think they're a great alternative to traditional sponges. They're a little bit slippery, but they do a fantastic job and they clean up really well. Another baking essential is this uh, baking couche and it is basically a linen towel that you can use to proof your bread in in the fridge on the counter it has a lot of structure it will get loosened up the more and more I use it but it's great because the dough won't stick to the linen even with the flour it's really handy now I've tried making baguettes a few times and it just wasn't working and it wasn't creating that crusty out exterior so this pan allows for the air to flow and allows the steam to go through which gives it that crunchy texture that we are looking for 
and it worked so well. So this is definitely an essential for baguette baking, another essential for baking bread, and it is this bread basket. And it works really well because of the size of it. So if you wanna make an artisan loaf, the no need style, this is definitely a game changer. It comes with a couple little tools that are really useful. So if you wanna get everything all in one, it's a great option. I like the dough scraper here. I like the metal one better that I, but this one will do its job just fine. But what you do is you actually roll your dough and, and put it into the bread basket and then you cover it and let that sit overnight in the fridge. And I'm telling you, it makes a world of a difference over using glass, um, because that's usually what I typically use, but it also comes with, basically it's an X-Acto blade, and you score it and make your own design, and as long as you go deep enough, you'll get a really beautiful bread in the end. It is just wonderful. Next up are bamboo utensils. I've had these for probably 11 years now. They have worked fantastic. They've held up so well. Um, you can get ones that have silicone on the um, handle part if you want them to be colored and stuff, but these work incredibly well. This one is my favorite and it's actually bent because I use it so often. Um, I just find that they're really easy to work with and they're bamboo and they just last a lot longer than the plastic ones. And probably one of my favorite cleaning essentials that I absolutely love and I've been using them for years are e-cloths. You use just water to clean up, so if you're not into all the fragrances and want different chemicals in the house, this is a great option. This is the kitchen cleaning towel. It works fantastic, has a little scrubber, but it works great on stainless steel. It actually will leave your stainless steel streak free just by using the cloth, but it also has a polishing cloth, so if you need to buff anything out, it works great. There is a general purpose cloth, which is the pink and and the yellow, it comes in blue, it comes in a lot of different colors. I use these on the cabinets, um, basically everywhere, and it cleans incredibly well. Then there is also the window cleaning um, set. Now, this is the Diamo. It has a, um, a rough side that you scrub the window with, and then this is the polishing side. I find that when I use this, just get it halfway wet so it's not drenched. Um, and then the other ones, um, you have a cleaning uh, towel for the windows and I find that I don't need the polishing cloth that it does come with, but it's all personal preference, but these work fantastic. If you've seen my um, older cleaning videos and even my recent decorating clean videos and you've seen me use them, I really highly recommend them. And then they also have one that is a mop head, which is great. So if you all follow me on Instagram, then you guys know I love to bake and I'm really into making sourdough bread from scratch. It's really fun, but it's quite a process and I know not everybody loves taking a day and a half to bake a loaf of bread. I wanted to share this company with you. They reached out. This is not sponsored. They think a lot of you might enjoy their products. So if it's called Wild Grain, and they ship fresh baked bread, pastries, and pastas straight to your home. They make fresh sourdough bread, they freeze it, and then they ship it to you, and all you have to do is pop it in the oven. Around 20 minutes, and you have a fresh loaf of bread. Sourdough bread is a process. It can sometimes take up to two days to make one loaf, and that's not for everybody. I got a seven grain one that um, I made for dinner last night, and it's fantastic. It had like a little bit of sweetness to it. It was so good. And I actually paired it with a cream of mushroom soup that I will share the recipe with you. And then they sent me two different homemade pastas. So I like to bake, but making pasta from scratch is a lot and it's all here for you. And they were super kind and actually said the first 50 people to sign up for a box will get $10 off their first box plus an extra free sourdough loaf in every box from there on out, which is pretty cool. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. This isn't sponsored, I just wanted to share it because I really like what their concept is. I like that everything is whole ingredients and it's basically fresh from scratch and you get to enjoy it with your family and your friends. So I'll leave that link down below, but now I'm gonna share with you a wonderful recipe. I tried it for the first time last night and it is, it is really good. It's a beautiful, wonderful cream and mushroom soup. I found it online, so I'll leave that link down below for you as well, but it's super, super good and it was really easy to make and it was, it was delicious. Very decadent and rich and it paired so well with the seven grain bread that I made in the oven. And it was super easy, it took 20 minutes to bake. So 
that is my top 20 favorite Amazon must-haves for 2022 for kitchen organization and essentials. I hope you can grab them. They'll be all linked in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed seeing the recipe and I just hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for spending part of it with me and I'll see you in the next one.